This episode of Leap TV is made possible by MyLeapTools.com. What's MyLeapTools? Well, it's a collection of video tutorials about branding, marketing, and business growth tips to really help small business owners from zero to 12 employees take their business and their brand to the next level. Coming up on Leap TV, we're gonna talk about when is it necessary to let go. We all need to do that once in a while. And we'll also talk about if you have difficulty making decisions, then decision-making tips come in right up. I'm Isabel Mercier, and this is the show that shows you that small, intentional, and consistent actions lead to massive results. I recently had the honor of speaking at a Women of Worth evening event, and um, I decided to bring my Leap TV team with me to capture some pertinent questions from savvy women entrepreneurs that were present at the event. Here is a question from Kathy Cousel from theconnectedwomen.com. Hi, I'm Kathy Cousel, The Connected Woman, and my question for you, Isabel, is when do you know that the horse is dead and it's time to get off? Especially in business, we always know that when you think you need to quit is the time to hang in there. But when you're running multiple companies or if you've got other things on the go, how can you tell it's time to let it go? Thanks. Kathy, a wise man once said, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. So in my opinion, there would be three instances in which it'd be probably time to let go. The first instance would be for me financially. If, um, if your resources have been tapped and your credit is in jeopardy, then that might be a good indication to let uh, a few arteries go. But why, why let yourself go to the bottom of the barrel? You don't need to. Quick.com, which was a division of Urban Fair years ago, had an online uh, grocery shopping artery to their services. And um, they've, they've tried it for three, four years. It was very successful, but it wasn't as successful and profitable as they thought it would be. So they made an executive decision of letting it go. The second instance in which I think it'd be a great idea to let go is health-wise. If your physical, emotional, and psychological health is totally drained. Yeah. Well, did you see that? I think that if you're at that point, I think it's a great indication that it is time to quit. Now, the third would be for the sake of the greater good. Many businesses, uh, business owners, have too many arteries going on, too many sources of energy sucker. And that what happens is it dilutes what you do, it reduces the focus, and it creates a whole bunch of mediocre arteries as opposed to a solid, really good one. So what does this mean for you, Kathy, and all of you leapers out there? Well, here's the thing. If you're at the stage of asking yourself this question, Perhaps you already know the answer. So I think it's a matter of just reminding yourself why you started this project or venture to begin with. Have you stuck to your ultimate purpose? If the answer is no, perhaps it's time for you to go back to the drawing board, simplifying things, or simply letting it go. Because you know what? After all, everything is just an experiment. Now, Leapers, here is what I would love to know. When do you know that you're beating a dead horse? Where do you draw the line? I would love to hear your stories of letting go. If all you have to do is add your comment here below the video at leaptv.com. Now, Kathy, to thank you for asking a question, I want to treat you with an ebook from my friend Sherry Borsheim. Sherry is a productivity expert, and the ebook is called Conquer Your Email Chaos. Have fun reading it, and I'd love to hear your feedback and some of the greatest gem from it. Now, Leapers, if you have a question, what are you waiting for? All you got to do is go, is click on Ask Isabel at LeapTV.com. Hey guys, what if you were part of a community, which I know you are, and you discovered that some of the kids go to school without breakfast, without having had breakfast, without proper warm clothing, and possibly even without a lunch. 
Would you want to do something about that? I know I would. And this is actually happening in our cities. So, the Vancouver Suns Children's Fund decided to do something about it. They have a campaign called Adopt a School, which I think is a fantastic idea, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. For every dollar that you donate to Adopt a School, it actually goes directly to helping the children with their basic needs. And if you don't have the funds to donate, no problem. They have a Facebook page. All you have to do is click on like. As soon as you like the page, Tell Us is generously donating one dollar for absolutely every like. It can't be easier. I encourage you to visit www.vansunkidsfund.ca and join me in making a difference. performance tip is about the importance of making teeny weeny decisions instead of waiting to make big potential disastrous decisions. Now as human beings this is how we feel about making decisions. We're afraid of making decisions because we're afraid of making the wrong one. But if you move forward in making tiny little decisions along the way, one, if you make a mistake it's really no big deal and it never has a chance to snowball in this bigger than life decision that is so scary to make. Now, if you wanna learn the one key simple concept that is gonna change the way you make decisions from now on, I invite you to go to myleaptools.com, look in the category section and click on kick-ass concepts. In there, you will find a video tutorial that is called the importance of making tiny decisions. Now, 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 if you are not already a My Leap Tools member, now might be a great time to decide. Want more incentive? Sure, there's a code. Just put it on the order form and it will give you two free months on your yearly membership. Can't really go wrong with that, can you? Now, if you've liked this week's episode, show me some lovin'. And of course, we want to hear your thoughts. So don't forget to give me your two cents below this video at leaptv.com. Now, that's it for this week's episode. Remember, everything you've learned here today will do crapola for you, unless, of course, you implement it. So do yourself a favor and pick one thing in this episode that you will start implementing right away. And remember that it's much easier to do it than it is to dwell on it. I'm Isabelle Mercier, and I would love to connect with you via Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Join me again in next episode so we can talk about and exchange more tips and tools to really help you perform like never before. See you next time. Kathy, a wise man, what? I don't know how. It's very hard to say. A wise man once said. A wise man once said. Kathy, a, a wise man once said, okay, gotta know when to, when to hold them, no, know when, when to, to fold, fold them. them. Okay. Kathy, a wise man once said, you gotta know when to, oh, come on. <laughs>